Hey, my name is Paul Fenema. I'm about to take a swim in the first turbocharger powered hot tub. This is gonna be awesome. It all started last summer when we bought this stock tank pool. Like good millennial parents, we thought it'd be pretty sweet to have a place to splash and play. And they are fun, but they're just cold. We tried a bunch of stuff, including this heat exchanger on top of a fire to try and keep it warm. It just wasn't working. All right, if we're honest, the obsession started way before that with this process of gasification. Using high temperatures, you extract a lot of energy from biomass. And turbochargers are this performance car part that uses waste heat from the combustion process to provide even more heat. I made a prototype. It was pretty awesome. It wasn't perfect, but the main problem was that it produced too much heat. Boom. So we made a few changes and it was about time to try it in the real pool, but nothing could really prepare us for what was about to happen next. I might not have mentioned it before. Essentially, this is a jet turbine engine running off of wood. It's submerged in water. There's a ton of engineering challenge, challenges, but one thing I didn't really account for was the amount of pressure that would be built up. Eventually, I found this pressure cooker from this thrift store and rebuilt. I added a bunch of safety features, including this blow-off valve from a water tank and an exhaust, as well as a pressure gauge. I spend a lot of my free time in the winter fine-tuning the machine and getting it to work perfectly. You gotta remember this is a thousand gallons of water. It's like over 3,000 liters. I can get it from cold to hot in a couple of hours. That's a lot of BTUs being put out. Eventually I felt confident enough that my kids could come join me in the pool without fear of an explosion. One thing I do want to see again though is that explosion. Let's see that explosion again. <laughs>